Uh, here we have our gelatin that I prepared overnight uh, with a little bit less water than what the instructions say. So uh, we, we, make, we make this more solid. The less water you use, the higher the yam modulus of the gelatin is going to be. And, uh, and here I have my syringe too. And uh, I'm going to, to load it uh, with, uh, uh, no, no drop of homework. All homework uh, assignments come. Um, and I'm going to, uh, to inject now. I'll, I'll first try with water. And then if it, it, it doesn't work very well, I'll try with oil, which has a, a higher viscosity. So uh, I also loaded here in, uh, I mix water with, uh, with pepper. So, so I think, you know, if we, if we get a nice fracture, uh, that's going to look like, like propan there. So, so let's see how this works. And I hope it's gonna, gonna turn out a full dry. So I'm, I'm loading now my syringe. Um, and you see here I have water and mix it with, again with, with pepper. Uh, I hope it doesn't get stuck. And I'm just gonna go ahead uh, very slowly and introduce the syringe into the gelatin. And sometimes, you know, these experiments fail because there is a leak in between the, the gelatin and the syringe or, or the well bore. So that's why I'm just making sure that I don't move too much the, the syringe around. And, uh, and let me see if I turn this. This direction, and then I'm going to start the injection. All right, guys. So I hope this is going to turn out all right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, inject very slowly. Uh, one more comment, which is very important. Remember that all of these hydraulic fracture completions are done, which is called in uh, in mechanics like in displacement control mode, because the amount of fluid that you inject is a finite uh, is a finite volume. It's not that when I start injection, this fracture is going to propagate in all directions. Uh, this is limited by mass balance. So the fracture volume is going to be what I inject. All right, let's go ahead and I'm starting the fractures. I hope that you guys can see. I'm gonna show you in a bit what I got here, and uh, okay. And um, let me take it out. I had a little bit of, of, of a leak towards the surface, but I have, I think my fractures are aren't, aren't too bad. So, so you see how they have a, a sort of a three-dimensional shape. And, and notice that one of the things that, 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 that we said at the beginning uh, was that these fractures uh, would not inflate as a sphere, like you will have a balloon on surface, or rather they're going to, to tend into a planar shape. And that's why, uh, that the reason for that is that once the fracture starts to grow, it just grows in that preferential direction. It's just easier to continue to propagate in a, a planar direction. In this particular experiment also, I notice that uh, my state of stress is a kind of isotropic. The stress in this direction is the same as the one in this direction. And it's almost also the same as in vertical direction. That's why my fracture doesn't have a very well-defined shape. But it, it is in the sections that you see is planar. And let me see if I can get a little bit closer over here. And I will turn it around. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I mix this with the pepper because now we see that the pepper is acting. You see, you see now that they are playing, right? Uh, the pepper is acting like, like a propane. All right. 